four, three, two, one, and liftoff. When I first heard of this plan to rendezvous two spacecrafts by launching a second spacecraft from the same pad within nine days, I thought it was next to impossible. The prime pilots for the Gemini 7 mission, Frank Bowman and Jim Lovell, have arrived at Launch Complex 19. They're in their lightweight suits. They have their helmets attached. T-minus one minute and counting. In the launch vehicle, first stage engines will ignite and build up some 430,000 pounds of thrust. T-minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Control Center at Cape Kennedy watching the launch of seven and as the spacecraft was inserted into orbit I glanced over at another TV monitor which showed the six launch vehicle being wheeled out of the hangar so that's how fast the reaction was taking place. Borman reports he has the booster in sight. Our initial orbit was 87 by 177 nautical miles. This was very close to what we'd hoped for. As a matter of fact, I think that our launch vehicle was closer to nominal than any other one that's been fired. After insertion, we turned around and thrusted back toward our second stage, and then we station kept or remained with the booster, uh, actually we were about 60 feet away from it, for around 20 minutes. About 22 minutes into the flight, we thrusted away from our second stage and then got down to the business of a 14-day long-duration flight. It's always taken about nine weeks or 63 days of actual work to clean up the pad, erect the booster, mate the spacecraft, and check out the systems. We studied the problems, we found solutions, we streamlined the work effort, and within a couple of days, the whole atmosphere improved. With the planned 14-day flight, this gave us some margin, and the whole plan now appeared practical. Uh, be advised that the cow's going very well at the Cape on Jiminy 6. <laughs> the crew's up and healthy and we're all ready to go. Jiminy 7. Your go for 119-1. Thank you, man. The word from the Cape is, we are go. They are go aboard Jiminy 7 as they make their silent sweeps around the world on their 111 revolution. The prime pilots for the Gemini 6 flight, Wally Sherrard and Tom Stafford, and are now on their way to Launch Complex 19 to board their spacecraft. At my mark, 20 seconds. Mark, go. Five, four, three, two, one. Ignition. Engine start. Seven seconds after the hour. Gemini 6, you are go. Go. You hear the man. Go. Gemini 6, Canary, Capcom, how do you read over? Loud and clear, Canary. How are the seven boys doing? Did they go over a while ago? They sure did. They're about five minutes ahead of you. Roger. Tell them we'll see them at the next station. <laughs> <laughs> 